Welcome back to Mad Outdoor Adventures. Today I'm going to be doing a full review on my Savage 110 High Country 30-06. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mad Outdoor Adventures, where we'll be in the woods or on the water with our family and friends. Let's find an adventure. Alright guys, so today is November 15th. If you do not know what November 15th is, this is opening day for Michigan firearm deer season. To celebrate, I'm going to be doing a full review on my Savage 110 High Country 30-06. Now, if you are a hunter out there and you're watching this, I hope you got your deer already. I hope you're having a great day. If you're a sad sap like me and you didn't get to go hunting today because you have other obligations like work, I'm sorry, I feel your pain. I'm either working or did work already today, depending on what time I post this video. It's a sad thing that we don't get to go hunting when we want to all the time. Michigan should declare a national holiday for November 15th deer season, in my humble opinion. To start this off, I'm going to show you what was in the box. I do not have the box. Because when we put the scope on it, it did not fit in the box anymore. So I just have the contents, right? So in the box came the magazine as well as the bolt. It had a trigger lock on the trigger already. Then comes with this bag of parts for the AccuFit system for the cone as well as the length of pull. It also comes with the owner's manual. Make sure you read that. Comes with a sticker so you can show off that you own a Savage. It comes with a load adjustment sticker that you can put in your different specs for. It comes with earplugs. Join the NRA. Another trigger lock. And this pen. So I'm going to put everything back in this bag and get it out of the way so we can talk about this rifle. I wanted this rifle for a couple years because I think it is just a beauty. I think that I love Savage rifles. They are, they're accurate. They have this awesome trigger. They are... I don't know. I like them a lot. So how I acquired this gun is I have a beautiful and amazing wife and she bought this for me for our five year wedding anniversary. Can't thank her enough. She is an amazing woman. Not only because she buys me cool things and spoils me, but she's top notch. So thank you, baby. So I'm going to go over the specifications of this rifle. The stock itself is True Timber Strata. Seems like that's the only camouflage you can find on anything anymore for whatever reason. But it's not a bad pattern. It looks cool. The barrel, receiver, and bolt all are either Midnight Bronze or Coyote Brown. It says both on the website. I'm not sure which one to go with, so you can pick. But it is made out of Cerakote to help with the elements, keep it from rusting. The overall length of this firearm is 43.375 inches. It has a 22 inch barrel. It has a 12 and 3 quarter to 13 3 quarter inch length of pull. It weighs 8.15 pounds. Yes, that's a little bit heavy. However, I feel if I can't carry an eight pound deer rifle, I need to start working out. I understand that there's some guys that go pack in the mountains for weeks on end and they want to cut every ounce. There's ultra light rifles for that reason. I'm not doing that or, or do I plan to anytime soon? And if I did, I would just deal with this. I mean, deal with it sounds negative because this gun is awesome. So I would be proud to carry this gun during that excursion the barrel and the bolt are both spiral fluted the barrel is threaded it has a thread protector on here 
I'm not going to take it all the way off. That way you can put on whatever muzzle device you'd want. It does have the swivels for the sling. The bolt cycles smoother than any other rifle I have. Again, I don't have a rifle of this caliber, so that's the reason why. Alright. The rifle comes with the AccuFit system, so you can adjust the comb height as well as the length of pull. I feel that standard's fine for me, so I didn't change it, but if you want to or if I want to later with this gun, you can. It of course has the Accu trigger, so nothing in there. I'm gonna take the magazine out. All right, not loaded. The Accu trigger, as always, smooth as butter. This trigger will make you a better shot, guaranteed. It has no creep. It's extremely just an amazing trigger. The bolt release for this one is in front of the trigger guard, so right there. I'm not going to take the bolt out, there's really no reason to do that. So a couple things I do want to talk about as well is the magazine. So the magazine doesn't have a clip on it. Like every other mag, again I don't have a rifle of this caliber, but every other rifle I have the magazine itself has the clip. The clip on this rifle is actually integrated into the firearm itself right here. That's nice because this is all metal, or at least it feels metal, so there's less chance of that breaking off versus a magazine that has the plastic clip on it. The magazine is also coated in that Cerakote Coyote Brown or Midnight Bronze, whatever you prefer. Another thing with this firearm, it did not come with the scope. It was drilled and tapped for the scope. We put this on at the store and had it bore sighted. This is a Vortex Viper HS. I will be doing a full review on this rifle scope in a future video, so keep your eye out for that. This rifle also has something new to me, and that's a three position safety. So full forward, you can fire, you can cycle the bolt. In the middle, you cannot fire, but you can cycle the bolt. All the way back, you cannot fire, you cannot cycle the bolt. So that's something new, it's neat. Um, it's something I'm gonna have to get used to, because I, I'll push it from all the way on safe to the mid safe on accident and I still can't shoot so I'm gonna have to just get used to that but I think it's cool I think it's a good safety feature so I'm gonna show you guys how this went at the range here's that video now first time shooting <clears throat> Savage High Country 30 at 6 let's hope it doesn't break my shoulder Where'd you hit? Like high. I don't know, I'm shooting low and to the left. I can't see. So one, two. Just to the left. One, two inches low.
Where are you at now? Huh? Where are you at now? Bullseye. Oh. You're shooting left or right? Like two inches. It's two lines. Two and a half. You're about an inch high. You see? I want it like an inch. I think it said 1.7 inches. so I can think about it. You're like right here. So this one right there would be two. So one and a half would be one and then on that line. That's where you're at. You're on this bold line. Alright, so I'm going to shoot one more just to shoot it. So why do you want it high? Because I'm shooting these dead home. smack nuts at 200 yards, so I can really poke something. So you want it sighted for 200, so you know that it's going to shoot high when you shoot at 100. Right, it's going to shoot an inch and a half high, which honestly ain't shit on a deer. shoot it and see where I'm at because a lot of shots in Tennessee are real close Dead nuts at 25. I wanted to get the fire coming out, that's why I did that. Could have done it this way. Hold on. You 
I shoot it once? No. Are you sure? This one doesn't kick like the other one does. This, I swear to God, this one night and day. The other one hammers your arm. This one just kind of pushes you back. The wife's first time shooting a 30 out six. Right next to you on the left. What do you think? It just kicks you, it just throws you back, but it doesn't like beat the shit out of you where you're My gonna... other one is like somebody jackhammering your arm every time. Well folks, that ends our rain session for the day. We'll see you at your home. We'll see you at our home, not your home. Alright, so you guys saw us at the range. I shot it. I think it's great. Um, it doesn't kick hard. It like gets in your shoulder and pushes you back. I used to have a slug gun that did the same thing. The part, of, the reason why is this thing does have some weight to it, and it's got this nice recoil pad. In the video, I also had my wife shoot it. She didn't think it was bad. Um, would I have my son shoot it? No, I'm not gonna subject him to anything like this yet, but. To be a grown person, recoil is not bad. In that video, I did refer to it doesn't kick as hard as the other one. What that is, is I have another 30 out 6 that I got from my parents for Christmas one year. It's my first 30 out 6. I love that gun, but that thing kicks you so hard. It's like somebody punching you in the shoulder, and it's real hard to get through multiple shots. And recoil like that affects accuracy with this gun i did get like an inch group at 100 yards i did sight it in for an inch and a half high because the federal fusion 165 grains says that at about an inch depending on where you look but it's like an inch and a half to an inch 0.7 high at 100 you're dead on at 200 so that way if i wanted to take a longer poke at something i'd be on I think that's going to conclude this video. I wanted to give you guys a full review on this Savage 110 High Country 30-06. It's my brand new deer rifle. I'm planning on using it this year around Thanksgiving. I'm going south. Hopefully I can get my first deer with a 30-06. First deer with this firearm that my wife got me for our five-year anniversary. If you like today's video, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot more outdoor content coming your way. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll find you on the next adventure.